Welcome back to Miller Finance. Today we're talking about Ford, Heineken, and Philip Morris. So I think we're in this really interesting world where brands that we're familiar with, with their standard operating model, their standard product offering, um, are shifting or broadening out their field into just shifting the thought process behind what their current value is and their product offering to a little bit different to attract or to make sure that they're marketing and using the right words in order to articulate the story of what the company is doing in a better way, in a more clear way. So, and examples for this are, so I'll read directly from Ford's Q2 2021 earnings deck, slide 15. They say Spin, their electric bike um, or a scooter company that they uh, put in a bunch of money in, um, Spin expands in the U.S. launch of new flagship e-scooter and e-bike. Another example is Heineken. Heineken's recently launched a Heineken 0.0, an alcohol-free alcohol beverage um, with for 69 calories. And then uh, thirdly, Philip Morris. Um, Philip Morris is committing in the UK to banning cigarettes by 2030, so nine years from now, um, to have a cigarette-free cigarette-free world. So. These companies have really clear business models. You have Ford, which is an automotive company. You have um, spirit beverages with Heineken. And then you have tobacco products with Philip Morris. And so these companies are shifting away from their current base. And they're thinking for the future vision. Where, where is the future taking us? And what, what key words do we need to build so that we can tell people our value proposition for the future? Ford is shifting to becoming a transportation company in the broader sense, not limited just to vehicles that are carbon-based, fossil fuels. Um, you have Heineken, which is becoming a beverage company, perhaps even com competing with the likes of Coca-Cola. And then you have Philip Morris, who is, wait for it, a pharmaceutical company with its planned acquisition of the Swiss company Ferton Pharmaceutical. Um, more likely, pharmaceutical is a little bit too far of a stretch, it's shifting just to smokeless tobacco products such as chew or snuff or dissolvable tobacco. But that still is a shift from its core product, which is cigarettes today. All of these businesses, not even touching oil and gas, so not even going that direction, are seeing consumer tastes and preferences changing quickly, or at least the keywords that previously people um, associated with positively have shifted to be negative or less than positive. Um, and so, they're turning the negative of the past into the need to get ahead of the curve and continue to grow their business, shift their operating model, and really get people to enjoy the products and still continue to use their current products and offering, but speak with them a different manner in a better way. So with that, that's Amelia Finance. Like, follow, ask questions, and uh, I'll come back to you guys next time. Thanks all.